So I downloaded the RTX voice app. I have recorded fan noise from my game PC onto my mobile phone, and I'm going to hold it up to my mic. That is crazy. But you know what's even crazier? I'm not using an RTX card, and I'm going to show you how to get around it. All right, so to get this working, you're going to need to go first install this. So you do a search for RTX Voice on your browser. Then you can go to the website. I'll also provide a link down below to make it a little easier for you to get to. But anyway, go about midway down and you'll see this link here. You can click on this link to start downloading. Now, once you download it, you can either, of course, you can go to downloads or you can go to the lower left there and click on the file where it downloaded and then go ahead and click on it to install it. Now, when you install this, okay, this first time is very important. It's going to do a compatibility check and give you this message. Okay, so go ahead and just close out the installer. Now what you're going to do is you want to search for Notepad and you're going to want to run Notepad as an administrator. All right, do this. When you get Notepad open, then what you're going to do is you're going to go to File and then you're going to open, go to your temp folder on your C drive and find where in the RTX voice was installed at. Uh, and click on uh, this folder, make sure you have all files selected, okay? Now this is what you're going to want to open, so go ahead and click on that and then this highlighted text here is what you want to delete. So go ahead and pause and find it so you can delete this. But once you delete it, go ahead and then save the file. All right, and once you save it, go ahead and close it and then go back to your temp folder and then rerun the installer again, okay? And once you rerun it, then it should work. Okay, you should go through the compatibility and then it'll run and install the driver and the app itself. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and click Agree and Install. Uh, it takes no time to hardly to install this. And then once it is installed and you click Finish, then it's going to go ahead and run the program, okay? Now, I run Voice Meter Potato, so my setup might be a little different from yours. Uh, when the program comes up, it should show both your input and your output set to default. For me, since I run Voice Meter Potato, um, I go run and select my VAIOs that I have selected as to output my microphone and then also to bring in all the Windows audio as my input and my output devices. Now, I don't know if I necessarily need to run background uh, rejection on my output for my Windows Audio, but definitely for my microphone, okay? But you do have that option here that you can do both. Uh, just remember, it will affect your performance on your GPU and maybe a little bit on your CPU. So now let's see how this works with my background noise. Okay, so I've got RTX Voice installed and I've recorded my gaming PC's exhaust fan or one of the exhaust fans just to give a nice kind of a white noise kind of sound that RTX voice can then delete or we can see how well it does and then just hear how my voice sounds over my uh, Rode pod mic here. So anyway, one thing I have noticed and you may notice it on a recording, you may not, is these little popping things and that is something that I am a little concerned about with uh, voice meter and I think it's just uh, maybe a too much uh, different software trying to control the audio that might be causing these bit errors. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and listen to the background rejection as I that have it turned off. Here's my here's the recording, by the way. So you can kind of hear that. So this is about a 15 second recording. I'm going to enable it now. And it should pretty much go away. Yeah, I mean, it's not there now. I'm talking. It's just, it just ended. Um, here, I'll play it again. So you can see that it is playing. And it's, yeah, it's not picking it up at all. It really isn't. It's, that's pretty impressive.
Um, it looks like it works great even with the regular GTX cards, um, at least with the 10 series and the GTX 16 series. So if you want to try this out, go ahead. Like I said, I have the link down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive what this thing can do. Um, and uh, I think for a lot of streamers, this will be a nice solution, even for like things like this where I have my mechanical keyboard. I mean, you can barely pick it up. It's crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. It really is. So anyway, there you go, guys. So I uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. I hope this helped. Yeah, make sure you hit me up on my socials. I'll have links down in the description below for that. Uh, but I am on Facebook uh, where I do uh, live streams and I do post my videos along with Twitch where I live stream, especially if you're interested in watching me. On Monday mornings, every other Monday morning, I live stream on stackup.org. But you can also follow my channel uh, there, The Frugal Streamer, YT. And, um, yeah, I'd love to see you. Hit me up on Twitter also, at Frugal underscore streamer. I post a lot of news and reviews for live streaming, especially with OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, things like what NVIDIA has done here. Um, I post that on my Twitter. So if you want to keep up on the latest news and reviews related to streaming software and hardware, and uh, make sure you follow me there. Other than that, guys, have a safe weekend. And again, I hope this video helps you out. I'm really, I'm really excited about this program. Uh, this is one of the greater programs I've seen come out. Little apps like this has come out in a long time. So keep up the good work, NVIDIA. I appreciate it.